to increase modularity and make your service more extensible, you definitely want to use inversion of control. So I'm creating a new web API project here called IOC AutoFact API. And uh, what I'm doing now is creating an empty one and just making sure it's a web API uh, project. So you get sort of the shell for everything. Then I want to add the other projects here. I want to have a business uh, layer project. So I'll make that a class library with the uh, IOC Autofact. Uh, let's call it services. And then I want to add uh, my DTOs. So I'll add um, a new class library project, IOC Autofact models. And now we have sort of the shell set up. So next we want to add references to Autofax. So you do that with NuGet Package Manager and you can search for Autofax and then install that part uh, uh, so that you have the container now and you also need this uh, Autofax Web API 2 for this demo. So everything is set now and uh, what we need to do now is create some sort of uh, configuration for this. So I put this in my app start folder. I'll create a class uh, here. I'll see config. And what I want to do now is just paste in some code here. So uh, I'm creating sort of the container builder and adding a new instance of that and just make sure all the references are here for reflections and, and stuff. So we're re registering our, our application and we're, what we want to do is just for now, I'm going to comment out this service because we don't have a test service yet. So our next step now is uh, yeah, get rid of that uh, namespace thing so that you have that in your sort of root folder. So let's create this test service now then. So in my services I'll add a class called test service and uh, just make this public and uh, uh, let's create some kind of uh, service that returns something here. So a task of uh, of string just to and call this get ping and uh, this service doesn't do that much but this is to prove the point with the the autofax so so let's just return pong for now and uh, what we do from here is uh, we need to add a reference to our projects in our uh, API. So just make a reference to service and models and you have everything now. So that means that we can now uh, comment back this once and, and make a reference to that test service. So now we're hooking up uh, this test service in our container and we're good to go. So let's test this with a controller. Create a test controller. And then in our test controller, um, we now, in our constructor, we can inject this uh, test service now. So let's uh, just create um, a, t a test uh, service reference here. And then inject this into our constructor in our test controller. Uh, and I suppose that's it. Uh, so let me copy in uh, a small f uh, contract here. So um, this is uh, an HTTP GET uh, and we're getting ping and we're using the test service that we just uh, injected and this will return Pong if, uh, if this works. And um, let's, well, Actually, there's one thing missing. We have to, in our global, we have to, uh, in our startup of our, our project, we have to uh, initialize the configuration here. So, uh, uh, IOC config, configure. And I think that's it. So, put a breakpoint on your um, constructor in your con controller and run this application. You will see that um, it will hopefully break.
here yeah uh, and so we have our service which is injected and it will return pong so that's it now you have your ioc container up and running thank you for watching this is where you can reach me